Good day, Harley. It's great to see you in Brisbane. For sure, man. It's been a while since we met. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing here today in Brisbane? Just, uh, I just fell asleep in the back of my friend's car and we arrived in Brisbane and uh, the vegan festival is on. So I just came in to say good day to a few people and check out what's happening in Brisbane. Okay. Uh, do you have any talk here today? No, scheduled? I don't. No. Is yeah. there any talks on today? Uh, yes, just a few. Oh, really? Yeah, maybe you can change and alter their schedule here today. I'll be happy to do that. Yeah. Uh, what is your plan for the near future? I can see you on YouTube uh, appearing in so many videos mm -hmm. that I, I sometimes think, how do you do that? Do you have some outsourcing company to publish your videos? No, no, or? no. I, make my, I think the secret to YouTube is regular uploading, consistent, at least two or three times a week. Regular uploading. I do all my videos myself and I make sure they're really simple to edit. I don't do much fancy software or I, I believe that People make the mistake of thinking they have to do some fancy production like Hollywood, which is good, but maybe for a DVD that's what you need to do. But for YouTube, YouTube's about real alleyway productions. Mm -hmm. So for me, YouTube is about just quality content versus quality editing. As long as the lighting's okay and you can hear what people are saying and the camera's not too shaky, that's all that matters. So just spam the internet with your videos, your opinion, your questions, two or three minute videos, boom, boom, boom. Easy to edit, easy to do. Showing the right message. Yeah. So I try to get my videos short, just boom, on the point now. And occasionally do a longer video. Now, I know, I know that you've been to Fruit Festival mm -hmm. in the States a few times. Uh, are you going to be next there Definitely. next year? Yes. 2013, the Woodstock Fruit Festival, I'll be there. Excellent. Now, if there was one message for uh, our Brisbane Raw Food and Healthy Living Group mm -hmm. here, that has over a thousand members. What would nice. it be? We share every time we meet a message about becoming vegan and vegetarian. Mm -hmm. If there was one thing you would tell uh, the audience, what that would be? It would be get enough carbohydrate calories, be it from fruit or rice, potatoes, corn. Me, it's fruit. I'm a fruit addict. I love fruit. And I find fruit works best for everybody, but we don't live in a fruit friendly society. So my number one tip would be get enough carbohydrates from your favorite carbohydrate source. Maybe try and have that as fruit, and if you can't get fruit, have a backup plan, be it steamed rice or steamed corn or steamed quinoa or steamed aromatics or oats or whatever. Whatever's going to work for you, but you'll find mostly fruit's going to work best for you. But if you can't get enough calories from it, it's not going to work. So get enough carbohydrate calories, get to bed early, drink enough water so your urine is clear. You want to have clear, when you look down, it should be clear. It should appear clear. If it's yellow or straw, we need to drink more. And that'd be three tips. Get enough carbs, get early nights, get the water, boom. Loving it. Excellent. And lastly, don't take anything personally. When you're new to something, people are going to ridicule you and think, oh, you're crazy, blah, blah, blah. But don't worry about that. Don't take it personally. Just have fun with it. Make a lot of money on YouTube like I'm doing with it. Just troll it. Have fun with it, man. Just, that's what it's about. Help people. Help people. Life, the purpose of life is a life of purpose. And taking things personally and going, oh, I feel sad that someone's like, <laughs> we don't have time for that. We don't have time for that. Just harden up and get out there. Thanks very much. Cool. I appreciate it and thanks for the message. We'll keep in touch online or offline and uh, stay healthy and wealthy. Done.